Hey, what is up people? Skywalker Hendrix here back with another video for you guys today. And today we are taking a quick look at one of my favorite 112 scale figures. Uh, this is the SH Figure Arts Yoda. Uh, this is kind of in line with my best figgy series. Uh, and yeah, obviously taking a look at some of what I consider to be the best figgies. So, this Yoda is, I mean, y'all, y'all see it. I sometimes like, I, I start explaining like what y'all are looking at and it's like, y'all know what this is and, and how good it looks immediately. Like, yeah. Anyway, uh, this dude looks amazing. So let's just jump right in. So getting Yoda out of his chair and you're probably asking yourself, how did his eyes open and how did his robe completely change? Well, this figure has some crazy engineering. As you can see, I have two of these figures because it's that good. When I find a figure that I really love, um, I, I make excuses for <laughs> buying multiples. And, you know, there, I, have, I have three prequel shelves. I mean, Yoda's in all three prequels, so... I don't have three, I just have the two for Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, but I wouldn't be opposed to getting a third one, not gonna lie. Um, having him, especially in the chair for uh, Phantom Menace, would be amazing, and I might, you know, move him back and forth that I just have the two. But anyway, this dude has some amazing engineering, pulling him up. His feet are just tucked under there. This is kind of a false bottom. It does come with a cap that you can put on. So if you have him standing next to the chair, it doesn't look bad because obviously it looks like there's a toilet seat right there. But uh, there is a cap, so that makes it look nice. And as far as the head sculpt here, the head sculpts in this set are absolutely amazing um i believe you get three of them total um and yeah they're just absolutely beautiful getting this guy over um i just think it captures his likeness perfectly and then you get like another one that's more like battle ready like he's looking over to the side but he also does come with a alternate robe while a third alternate robe that is kind of wind swept, or wind swept, so it looks like he's kind of in action, and obviously you can give him his lightsaber and everything like that, which I might as well just show you guys. All right, and as you can see, yeah, this dude is amazing. Like, I mean, yeah, you can't really much uh, get better than that for a one twelfth scale Yoda. Uh, this is Black Series scale, so, <laughs> dude, it's so good. I love, love, love this figure. The fact that you can go from this look to this look, and then back to a nice, neutral, old man Yoda with the cane. Yeah, I mean, this figure is so diverse in displayability, and... Really one of SH Figure Arts' best releases, in my opinion. It is pretty much a perfect release, in my opinion. Um, I, I really don't see what you could complain about it, unless you just don't like how SH Figure Arts' articulation looks on a figure. I could understand that from like an aesthetic standpoint, but then don't get... 112 scale action figures because their their articulation is visible um in in most cases so especially with shf that being said i think this is a perfect action figure and it looks amazing on the shelf still in my opinion it's just it's a perfect release so yeah it enough said all right and standing him next to a standard black series sized figure i guess you could say uh this is the 3.0 clone mold also damn near a perfect figure um and 
yeah, I think this this uh, Yoda scales perfectly, especially for a prequel style Yoda. And yeah, it just, it looks amazing. And another great display option would be this Black Series Count Dooku. Amazing, amazing duo right here. And just goes to show you, I preach it in all my SHV Yorks videos. You can blend these two and they go together so perfect in my opinion. All right, so that does it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed and yeah. Let me know down in the comments, do you think this is a perfect figure? Really ask yourself, is this a perfect representation of what Yoda looks like on his council chair? Or, you know, standing with his with his cane? Like, it, it's so good. And I highly recommend trying to find this for a good deal. I know he is a little spendy on the aftermarket but in my opinion i think i got this guy for 150 it's so worth it i know he's a smaller character but dude the chair i mean and as much as i love the black series this looks so much better than what they're putting out for a prequel yoda and yes i know that that's a two-pack and you're getting two figures quotation marks um i would spend the extra coin and just get this by itself um and i'm getting that pack because i want that gree and that yoda will go on my clone Wars shelf or something i'll find a spot for him or maybe i won't maybe i'll throw him in a drawer or give him to someone or some i need that gree though but anyway yeah i i really do think this is a perfect release and really this era of sh figure arts is unmatched in my opinion i think hot toys is coming close right now with what they're doing but in my opinion sh figure arts had the best most consistent run with a toy line um th yeah i don't know you look at some of those those mid 20, you know, 15, 2016, 2014 SH Figure Arts figures, and they are flawless. I'm talking flawless. Farm Boy Luke, you know, that the Episode 2 Anakin I just reviewed or showed off, the Padme I just showed off on the channel. Like, dude, Chef's Kisses, the, the Han Solo, and really the whole A New Hope line, which I do plan on doing a video about eventually. But anyway, we're, we're getting on to a whole different topic here. So let's save that for a, another video, another day. But I hope everyone enjoyed today's video and stay tuned on the channel. I do have the Mafex Bo-Katan coming in as well as the Hot Toys Mace Windu, and I'm doing a retro review on the Hot Toys Clone Trooper from Attack of the Clones, and I have the Mandalorian Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Clone Wars coming to the channel from Pop Collectibles. Shout out to Pop Collectibles. Y'all are some Gs, along with all my channel members. Y'all are Gs. Everyone who watches my videos, y'all are Gs too. Everyone can be Gs. Hey. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching.